What's up, fish tank people? Dustin's fish tanks bringing it to you, talking about a pond, but it's not my pond. It's my man Derek's pond. What's up, man? Hey. So, uh, Derek Meads, I met him back in the day doing an amazing yoga class. Now we both have kids and our practices are out of form, but whatever. Uh, I'm bringing this video to you sick. I am not healthy. Uh, I was fighting the sickness that my kids, they go to school, they have a great time, they come back, they bring the germs. So I'm keeping my distance from Derek, so I might put the camera in his face a little bit, but I'm not going to get too close. You all, I'm going to infect you all too. But here's what's going on. My man Derek just built a, how big is your pond, dude? Uh, 20 feet by 6 feet. And where was that pond inspired by, bro? It was inspired by Native Cafe, uh, Nickler's, uh, out of Maxwell Street here in Lexington. It's, uh, been wanting some in my backyard, didn't want to dig a huge deep hole didn't want to put a lot of pumps and filters on it and it is zen simple there they've had it for 10 years it's amazing so i'm rebuilding an exact replica in my backyard that's fat dude and then the uh the micklers if you all don't know you can see the clip there of the actual pond you can click links around here i did a 360 video i don't know why it didn't do well but i have a 360 video of that greenhouse it's really fat the owner of that place is amazing so uh, he was inspired by Micklers. When did you set that up? You hit me up when I was at Aquachella, though. You built that two weeks ago, or how long ago? Yeah, no, I think I've been at it for three weeks. Thought about it for a week, and then went and bought all the materials and uh, jumped right in. What's the biggest mistake you made? Buying the liner first. I don't think I've made no? it. Yes, no, no. <laughs> yes. That's yep, rookie yep, stuff. Yep. I bought the liner first, which held me back from going bigger and deeper. Yeah. So I. I think we're good, but I could have gone oh, a little deeper. Oh, he's got it. So he's yeah. got, he's got, you can see the, the video here. So he came over today, hit me up, and was like, dude, we want to get some oxygen. And so I want to, I want to backtrack on the conversation we had. You're at 20 feet long. You've got no fish, nothing in there. When did you put water in it, bro? Two days ago. Okay. So he's got water two days ago. So we're having the conversation. He's like, dude, I need some plants. I'm like, well, we got you. So we're trying to discuss today uh, what plants we should put in here. And I'm gonna give him my professional opinion on this. So I'm gonna go down to the pond like this. So you got 20 feet. Now you're not in full sun like me, but you're close. Mm -hmm. So I wanna show you um, some of the stuff that I, I think will do great. And it starts over here with Elodea. And this is a cool one. I don't know how much of it I got. We sell a bunch of it, but this is one that's just the classic uh, Elodea down here, this bad boy. And I got just a little bit of this oh, I can yeah. give you, bro. But um, this one grows like crazy. Uh, it's illegal in a few states, not ours. But I grow it out the pond here. But you can see this big, long mamma jamma. Yeah, yeah. Same thing you put in aquariums. So definitely, if you're looking for like an oxygenator, filterer, this is a good one. I got a whole video. I'm getting some real good footage of the fish right now. So I'm going to show you all that. All the koi are out mid-afternoon. Daddy was just in here. This man is porn war, dude. This stuff grows in Siberia. It is like burly, and this stuff is what I would really, really, really want to send you home with okay. because it's got a big oxygenating uh, properties, grows like crazy. It's probably gonna do something funky on you, and you guys in your aquariums, this happens too. Uh, it's like got this like great growth, but it's so fine, also known as guppy grass. Uh, it will, it might like kind of like flake out on you a little bit. See how it's kind of breaking off there? That might happen, but dude, it grows back so fast. So definitely want to do that. And then the cool part about ponds is that you can go above the water. There's something called the aerial advantage. Basically, all this water uh, highest in here would be fantastic. Give you some cover and then gives you extra... Uh, it runs high octane because it's above the water line. Mm -hmm. So because it's above the water line, it's gonna get more sun and it's gonna get more readily available CO2. And then all this underneath it here, so I can show it to you on the uh, the lettuce. This is the water lettuce. Click the links around here and see a video of when I pulled out. I pulled out oh, 200 wow. of them. But this whole bottom part, dude, is all money. Wow. So that's something you're gonna wanna uh, okay. want to mess with for sure so water lettuce for sure it's so late in the season brother i'd love to get you from one of my suppliers one of these tropicals because okay. that's a tropical lily but i think rolling next weekend's labor day so yeah. like let's just not do that okay um but then you could get a hardy lily man so th these are hardy the greens are hardy that's hardy that's uh not hardy that's hardy over there so any lilies man is totally fair game and because i love you you can get part of the big red stem talia. Really? Oh, dude, it grew over here, man, look. <laughs> dude, it came out over here and was like, I don't give a shit, I'm over it's here. Beautiful. Oh, it's fantastic, man. It came this root over here, so 
that's what I'm thinking. But man, sky's the limit. Um, I want to quickly talk about the conversation we had about fish. Mm -hmm. And and I'm, I'm recapping it here, whatever. But I, I think it was funny because he was like, well, I was thinking about getting a comment. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, you got... <laughs> You got options with a 20 foot long thing. So what do you want to do with fish? Or what do you, like what's your, you don't want to have mosquitoes, but like, are you thinking koi? Like what are you? So I guess I'm inspired by what I saw at Nickler's. So he's yeah. got a variety of fish in there. Big fish, small fish, black fish, orange fish. Oh, does he? It's a I rich diversity of goldfish. In yeah? There. I don't think they're koi. No, they're probably Nicklers. not. Yeah. So I'm inspired by that, but of course this is gorgeous, so. Well, some tips from the pro, dude. I, I mean, that's a, that's a toss up, bro. Because like you've got, you've got the space, and and this is just the dialogue I think you guys will hear. Um, so like, he's got options. It's twenty feet by four feet, or twenty feet, six feet. Twenty feet by six feet, and it's two feet deep. Uh, it's closer to three feet. Closer to three. Nice. I did nice. a lot of work. They're digging. So I mean, you're at that spot where I mean, you probably got. It was twenty feet long. I mean, you've got, I'm, my math is, I'm slow with the math because I'm sick, but like you probably got 2,000 gallons of water there, man. So, I mean, you could do koi, but if you want to do, the problem is your koi are going to get, I mean, they're going to get big. So you're going to have, you know, big monsters like that, but you could do goldfish. The thing that I'm trying to get to a roundabout way is you're really going to have to pick. Do you want koi or do you want goldfish? Now, I've got, it's a commitment. I mean, you know, the koi is going to get a foot long and you're going to have this like yeah. bad koi in your backyard. The goldfish are going to stay smaller and you could get varieties of them that are cool. You could get fancy, you could get comets, you could get the shabumpkins, you could get all kinds of cool different varieties of, of uh, goldfish. So it's really just, um, you know, your, your opinion, but I think you're ultimately going to have to pick uh, one or the other with that. All right, folks, you see his pond. It's 20 feet long, what, six foot wide. What would you put in this pond? Koi or goldfish and why? Drop me a comment down below. I can't wait to get these dragonflies floating around my Oh, backyard. they're cool, aren't they? Yes. Look at them, just zoom. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's fantastic. Yo, you get what you'll get, man, is you'll get, if once we get you some big tall stuff, you can see the bees on there. Uh -huh. Every now and then, man, we get this really awesome uh, hummingbird. Oh, yeah? Oh, dude, it's awesome. He comes in and he's just like, Zroom, and then he's, well, if you're not following me on Instagram, I did catch it on Instagram. Dude, another thing you could do, you could get a hibiscus on the end, too. Yep. I don't know how much sunlight you have compared to me, but we can do that. Um, you were talking to oxygenators. That's a parrot's feather that's pretty wicked. Yeah, so about that stuff. We got some options, but... My boys over here, uh, we're gonna go and oh, I'm zoomed in too close here. Ugh, edit that out. Uh, my buddy's over here, so we're gonna get in the pond and get him some plants to get started. So it's exciting. Thanks for being on. Dude. Thank you.